relax a bit. This morning, a bit less chaotic as Michael arrived at the offices of the Guinness Book of World Records. He checked out the displays. But more importantly, he was there to pick up an award for breaking seven world records. Thank you for um, everything. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I reminded him of one. Speaking of records, what album holds the record for sales in the world? Oh, Get yeah. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> a moment of levity before the Michael Madness resumes. Tomorrow on Access Hollywood, a late surprise from Michael Unveiled. Heartfelt messages from Hollywood and Michael's emotional. Michael Jackson's made a rare appearance in London ahead of his performance at the World Music Awards later today. He visited the office of the Guinness Book of Records to receive a staggering seven certificates. A huge fan of the book since childhood, Jackson requested he came to pick them up in person while he was in the country. The editor showed him around the office before presenting him with the records, which include the youngest vocalist to top the U.S. singles charts and the highest paid entertainer of all time. He was also given a copy of the 2007 book signed by all the staff there, which he seemed delighted with. The, the, the office has been very busy today. <laughs> wow. Signing this is for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is the best thing for you. This is everyone saying hello. Thank you. This means the world to me. It really does. Thank you so, so much. I love I'm you. a big fan, really. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson has even more accolades to collect while in Britain. He'll be presented with a Diamond Award at the World Music Event at Earl's Court. He'll also be given an eighth world record, which is for selling over one million copies of his Thriller album. The singer's live performance later will mark his first in Britain for nine years.